<coughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing anymore. I apologize for what's about to happen. Blue skies, a crystal blue shoreline. What's not to like, right? Anyone and everyone loves the coast. Except, except for me. I, I don't know if I love the, the Pacific Northwest. I don't really like, like beach culture and stuff. I don't know, maybe that's because I don't like taking my shirt off. Don't get me wrong, this is the place to be if you want slim girls, hunky guys, and curious tourists that lay somewhere in the middle. A hot spot for holiday destinations for anyone willing to pay for the tranquility of an ocean's breeze and a slap on the ass. That's what I pay for when I go to beach places, is for the inevitable slap on the butt that never comes. Have I been ripped off? I'll take that as a yes. I guess I'm just a bit of a stick in the mud. School is and works. <laughs> it's gotten the way, you know. There's more to life. I'm trying to catch a little bit of something from everyone in your senior year. I never really found the time to date after graduation, drifting apart from friends who I had hard the fifth and ninth set. I see enough of that at home from my libido-driven brother. It's a plot device. That's when you hear the repetitive churn of your alarm go off again, and it's time to face up to reality. It feels like every morning I sleep past my wake-up call a little longer. I guess it could be pretty easy when there's nowhere you're expected to be in an hour. 11 a.m. At least I can still consider breakfast. Get it, consider it breakfast if I get up now. Oh wait, I just remembered. Kobe invited his friends over today. Watching them get all touchy-feely gets kind of weird. Considering we still share a room. Uh, oh. Yeah, screw that. I'm not going to pretend to sleep while they swap saliva. At least he's over there most of the time. If I'm quick, I can dodge a bullet and sneak out of the house before they're having to say hi. So far, so good. Not a whisper from anyone while I was in the kitchen. I could probably shower when I get back. Though I guess I could figure out where I'm going first while I'm in there. Babe, may, may as well sign on that now. Do I get cleaned up and hand out more resumes? Do I put on some sneakers and go for a jog? Do I go for a drive and see if there's anything... <laughs> I'm gonna relax and chill on the internet. No, I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm gonna be responsible. I haven't been called by now. They probably aren't gonna call me. I may as well hit up as- uh, ugh, Fuck. As many places as I can. At least then I'll have more of a case when dad starts give me shit to look at. I only have my original copy left though. I'm gonna need to head down to the post office and print some copies. I should, uh, have that shower now so I can look the part now. God! Ah! Oh, hey Mr. Sunshine, you're looking chipper this morning. I would, I would never call my brother Mr. Sunshine. I don't- I think that's in the rule of things. It's in the book of unwritten rules of things that you don't do, is call your brother Mr. Sunshine. I was- I was just saying morning. It's our bedroom, don't forget. Just cause you're in there all the time doesn't mean it's yours all day. Yeah, cause you're about, you're about to go have sex in there. Yeah, I get that part, but anytime I see you in there, when you're, you're getting bonked by some dude you just met. You, you're getting bonked, okay? So excuse me for being a little bitter when I'm trying to sleep. And all I can hear is bed squeaks and bird squawks. What the fuck? For your information, it's just you and me at home. And that's why I'm just in underwear. Don't you ever walk around the house naked? And about my friend, he isn't here. When's he getting here then, Mr. Hits on your brother, you creepy bird? He isn't coming at all. He dumped me this morning via text. Whoa, that's awful, man. I was wondering if I could spend the day with you to cheer up. Now, now after calling me Mr. Sunshine, there is, there's no, we're not spent, we're not spending time together. <laughs> he seemed like a nice guy from when I met him last week as well. You want to hang out? Let me, th I don't, I don't, I don't want to hang out with a big, a big talking bird, man. Are you a person under there? Am I going to take off your mask and find a neck beard? Your parents are really style and looking good. Make time for Kobe. <sighs> Okay, I guess we'll be good. We'll, we'll be good to our brother. Psych! I'm sorry, Cobes. <laughs> it sucks you got dumped at all, but I already had a bunch of stuff planned before you bumped into me. I'm not always gonna be around when your dates go sour. Fucker! Don't you use those eyes on me. It won't work this time, little butthead. Please? All right, guys, he used the eyes on me. I can't deny those eyes. We have to- Psych! No! Kobe, Kobe, no. I promise I won't be a bother. I'm not as tough as I make it out to be. I feel like I'm gonna cry if I'm left alone. Oh my god. All right, fine, you can tag along, but just today, no funny business. Well, I just said, I said no. Do my decisions not matter? Wipe that smile off your face, you 
smug little bitch. The way you say it makes me sound like a jerk who needs to be compensated to spend time with his stepbrother. I love you, Cobes. It's just seeing you with boyfriends all the time while I can't seem to find anyone for myself gets a little... I can't really help you with the job, huh, dig? But how about you be going to town tonight? Check out the club stuff because you're the fresh start myself. Especially after this morning. Make lunch together, go to a movie, hang out in the bedroom. Well, I feel like hang out in the bedroom is one that could go south. So let's do that. It was the first time myself and Cody dedicated to gay just for each other for as long as I could remember. We seemed to have become distant during high school and then I fucking missed that. We had an old rule between us. While we had no guests in the house, we would only wear underwear while in the bedroom. Considering it was just us, I didn't really think too much of it. He wasn't the type to pull pranks while we were almost naked. Sure enough. Being brothers, we ended up wrestling once we started getting restless. He's deceivingly strong for his size, pinning my arms down and kneeling over my love. My fucking god. I chose this because it was easily exploitable. We eventually called a truce and laid our limbs over each other in an exhausted pile. If we wanted to go out tonight, we would have to get ready soon. If you want to go in just underwear, I'll be your wingman. Oh, I get it, because you're a bird, you fucking... All right, so we're off to the club now after a very suggestive bedroom scene that I don't want to think about ever again. Kept reassuring me that I'll have a blast. I think he could read my nerves pretty easily. To be truthful, they are getting to me. I got myself into this without really thinking it through. What if it's just a club filled with furries? With the no, the type of guys furries like to be furries? Furries! Ah! Back in line, boys. If I see another cut in line, you'll be kissing the curb. Well, the curb is pretty attractive, so the eggs on your face, you fucking asshole. Hold up. Don't you recognize this cutie? <laughs> ah, Kobe. Sorry, champ. Didn't see you there, you big blue neon bird. I don't know how I missed you among this crowd of fucking neon animals. You and your friend could come on in. I'm actually a stepbrother, so thank you very much. Well, guys, we just we got to the furry convention. That's where we are today. This was physically taxing and <coughs> this was physically taxing. I, I, I felt uncomfortable playing this. And I, I think it's half because I am definitely not a furry and half because it's just a dating sim in general. Now, I'd like to reiterate that I don't have anything against anyone for liking anything or being a part of any fandom. I support any and everyone to the fullest extent for doing what they like, so long as it doesn't hurt others but you can't blame me for wanting to kill myself playing this. Okay, that is... Bye. I guess we gotta name myself. Let's name myself Farty Mick Adolf.